Hello my beautiful babes, how are you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Boss Up Budgets, and on this channel I do cash stuffing, budgeting, saving up challenges, and all things money related. Today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I decided that I wanted to, you know, change things up a bit. I am gonna be doing end of the month kind of like a closeout. I didn't think I would get to this point, but because, you know, I've been in this for about three months now, I feel like doing unstuffing by month is the most beneficial for me. Unstuffing by month, I think will definitely reduce the size of my envelopes and it would also make me feel like I do have more with the bigger bills showing. I think it would also be really interesting for you guys to kind of like keep up with me. I saw that the last unstuffing video you guys really did enjoy it so that's what I'm here for I'm here to serve your guys's request so I did go to the bank I pulled out two thousand dollars all in hundreds and I definitely think that this will be enough and if it's not it's fine because we're gonna be unstuffing at the end of every month anyways but yeah so let's just count make sure we got two thousand in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty this month upcoming in August, I do have many, many videos for you guys. I'm so excited. This month is going to be filled with videos just because, like I said, I'm changing the system of how I'm doing things. So with all that change and all that new growth coming in in the month of August, I realized that I'm going to be documenting and recording every single bit of it so that I can take you guys along. So first one we're going to do is ortho. Two, four, six, eight. One, two, four, six, eight, two. Got 200 in there. I'm gonna take 200. So now it has 100, 200, 5, 10, and 15. And if I do have, you know, extra like smaller bills, like if I do end up having like some tens, I will go back into these envelopes. Just one last sweep. Car registration, 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. So only 80. Let's take out all the fives, gives ourselves a 20. 1, 20, 40, 60, and 80. The next one we're going to swap is car renewal. So it has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So maybe I'll swap just the fives. Five, so 10, 20. There we are. Should still be at 90. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. Gonna leave it then we got school loan not sure if this needs to be unstuffed nope all right so that's it for the pink binder finally it's so thin now perfect we're also going to be doing this binder which is our emergency fund and savings binder First one is Bentley, that was 240, 60, 80, no, 20, 40, 60, 70. So we don't have anything that we could have switched it out with. If I had any like 50s, maybe next time I'll pull out like hundreds and 50s. Car, 20, 40, 60, 81. So we got 107. See if we can do held 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. So we can take out four of the fives. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, and 3. Life insurance. Has a bunch of 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. 
So let's do 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. One, two, three, four, five, twenty, forty, one, two, three, and four. And in the back of this, I do keep track of how much I should have in every envelope. So I am constantly double checking to make sure what I swap out is the correct amount. All right, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. Ooh, that is a bunch of 20s, you guys. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, five, and 600. This envelope is getting really thick, you guys. Once it hits $1,000, I'm going to deposit it because I feel more safe. I think accumulated these binders do take up a lot so I want to make sure that I'm not at a high liability. We will have placeholders in there pretty soon. Rainy day, let's put the 100, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. So I'm going to take out five 20s, switch it with a 1, it should have 280, 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. We don't need to worry about that. I don't think we need to worry about this. Yeah. It's all switched out. And that's all good. But let's just count up just to double check and make sure that this is 2,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 1,100. 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 17, 2, 4, 6, 8, 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 19, 2, 4, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So that was $2,000. Alright you guys, so the second part of this video, I am going to be unstuffing things that I bought from July. So let me just get my calendar ready for you guys. One second. This is what I have for you guys. This is the calendar that I made for myself. I use, I think it's called Google Docs. And I also have a key. I know my Chase account is blue. Anything that I bought using my Capital One, which is a lot, it's going to be purple. Amex is kind of like a lightish green. And then Discover is a little bit of a purple. Anything that was red is things that I've looked through my envelopes and realized that I didn't budget enough for these. I know it's a little bit hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this here just for myself. And I will actually insert the screenshot of what it looks like at the corner so that you guys can follow along but I'm gonna take this off screen and we'll just work through whatever's up there I actually haven't bought a calculator so I'm just gonna use my phone calculator to figure all of this out how about this since this is the first time I've done this let's just go from week to week and then we can discuss everything through on July 2nd it's where I had three charges on my chase account I had 100 for my investing account 50 for a savings account and 349 for car note those are all the things that are in my pink monthly expense binder but everything as you notice everything has already been deposited into my bank account I'm gonna let you know that they're all taken care of anything that's charged to chase Chase and discover move on to the second week so we got Monday July 4th to the 10th on Tuesday we have a couple of things F meaning fun envelope just so that I know I did go to H Mart and then I went to Ranch 99 those are both grocery stores and that I was planning kind of like a dinner with all my friends I considered that more of like getting it out of my fun envelope I definitely didn't budget for that during my weekly allowance because weekly allowance is literally my groceries not if I was planning a party you know what I mean I did spend $65 there 
there and then also got McDonald's that day and then Bamboo which is a milk tea store so I got myself a cup of coffee. I love the coffee there you guys. It's so good. And then I also went over budget on Thursday. I went to Safeway and then I went over budget $3 so I decided to just take that out of the fun envelope as well. And then on Saturday I did go to Target to get some house supplies and then I spent $28 getting some essentials for my dog so I got him dog food I wanted to also try like some wet dog food for him to you know he loves wet dog food so I definitely wanted to get something to increase his appetite because he hasn't really been eating all that much also wanted to get him some dental chews I wanted to try out this new one which is called whimsies he loves them you guys he already ate all of them yeah so let's work through that first I'm gonna work through the fun envelope so we got 65 from H Mart, plus 9 from McDonald's, 7 from Bamboo, 3 from Safeway. So we got $84 that we need to take out of the fun envelope. All right. Let's see if we have that here. 20, 40, 68. So that's 80. And then great. One, two, three, and four dollars. So let's count again. 20, 40, 60, 80, one, two, three, and four. Let me just put everything that I bill swapped on the side so I know that that belongs together. And then at the end, you guys will count it up just to make sure that we pulled out the correct amount. And then we're going to pull out $11 from house supplies. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 20, 5, perfect, we have enough ones. And I also do have change on the side in my wallet, so in case there isn't any ones, I'm just gonna exchange them doing that, you know what I mean? That was it for the week of the 4 to 10. So moving on to week 11 to 17. On Tuesday, I went to the carnival and with that, I did do a lot of spending that day. I bought some groceries before then and I did buy some things at the carnival. It was actually really fun, um, really hot. I wasn't able to handle staying there for more than two hours. Like it was just so, so hot. And I was really hoping to stay there until sunset, but you know, like things happen. I would rather like take care of my health and not get a heat stroke. I was gonna play games but then like literally I thought all the games were kind of rigged so I didn't want to spend that much money. My friends did lose about like $200 on games so I was like girl I'm cool off that like I'm not gonna give money out for free but I was like I'm down to get some food. I got this really good like watermelon refresher and then I got some hot Cheetos with corn so super delish. I spent $17 and then I also drove there so I spent $35 in gas and then at the end of the night I did go get some groceries so that was $27 actually on Wednesday the 13th I got my teeth pulled um, for braces so then I realized okay now I need to get something soft to eat so I decided okay let me try like some chewy granola I spent five dollars getting it and it would be out of my groceries but because like I said I went over budget so I was like you know what I'm just gonna take it out of the fun envelope that's really the most appropriate envelope out of everything on the 16th I did get an expense charge fifty dollars went to my savings account a hundred dollars to subscription those two things we're not gonna budget for because I've already removed them from my monthly expense so we don't need to worry about that moving on to Sunday I spent $44 on the binder, which was this binder, and I also bought a new binder. You will see it in about one or two weeks. I'm really excited for that. So I did buy another binder, and then I spent $6 on spray because I did get my nostrils pierced. So I have two nose piercings and one septum. I bought cleaning supplies for that, so that's $6. Let's go from left to right so that we make sure we don't skip anything. We got $17 for the carnival, $30 
35 for gas, 27 for groceries, $5 for granola. So that's it for the fun. Total should also be $84 like last week. Yes, so we spent $84 from fun the first week and then again $84. All right, I think I may need to switch out some change. Yeah, we don't have enough ones. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's 80. That should be four. 20, 40, 60, 80. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna go through our splurge envelope and take out some money for the binder. We need to take out $44, 10, 20, 30, 40. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna count one last time. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The next one would be our health essentials. I think I go backwards. It's great that everything's alphabetized. Alphabetized. Is that how you pronounce it? You know what I mean. From ABC, so that way it's easier to go find your envelopes. Health essentials. We're gonna remove six dollars. Don't have any ones, so let me get some change. One, two, three, four, five. So I need six dollars. One, sorry, five and six. Let's replace this. All right, so that's done with week 11 to 17. Moving on to the week of 18 to 24. If you look on the 19, 201 for phone, and then look on the 21, 138 for car insurance. Both expenses were already taken out. I just wanted to show you guys when I get billed for both, but we don't have to worry about that. On the 19th, I spent $50 at TC Pot. TC Pot is a Taiwanese self-serving hot pot. So every person that comes in gets their own bowl. It's about like $20 a bowl. And I went to go eat with my best friend so it was $50 for Tasty Pot and then I also went to 7-Eleven and got some chips for $6. On the 22nd these two things are not budgeted that's why they're in red. I'm gonna figure out how to pay back these debts so these are health debts. I don't really want to remove it from my health emergency envelope because I really want that envelope to stay so I might come up with a way where I put that into my monthly expense binder and then just gradually pay back to it like save up money to pay back. So we don't need to worry about that. The only two things that we're going to be adding up for the week of 18 to 24 is Tasty Pot, which is 50, and then also 7 Eleven, which is $6. So that's $56. We're going to take $56 out of the fun envelope. Yeah, I definitely used a lot, and I think a lot of it was really just food. I'm just going to move this up so I have a better separation. We're moving 56, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, and 56. Perfect. Definitely depleted this. This was at 200 something, you guys, and now it only has $22. That's crazy. So now I need to look out, make sure I don't over budget too much. Moving on to the next week and our last week, which is 25th to the 31st. The first one that we're going to look at is Petco. I spent $26 at Petco. And then again, if you look at the 28th, I did spend another $8. And that's just because usually when I go out, like I'm always going into the dog section. And that's just because my dog definitely needs a lot of stuff. So I do buy stuff, you know, here and there throughout the month for him. $26 I used to get like a cleaning supply for his ear it's like wet cleaner and then dry cleaner because i've noticed that he's been like shaking his head a lot and he's also been scratching his ears so i want to make sure i flush out some of the wax so that he feels a little bit more comfortable also spent another eight dollars at petco definitely wanted to just try another type of dental tree he did like whimsies but i also saw that there was a like, different type of whimsies so i went to go get him like different sizes and stuff he'll have a little bit more fun chewing that Bentley, we're gonna add up 20 
26 plus 8 and we're going to take out $34 in his essentials envelope. Let's get some change. I'm going to put the 5 in. 3, 4, 5. 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm glad I still have some leftover for him. The next one we're going to look at is piercing cleaner. So once again, I was just definitely just trying out different nose cleaners. I'm just fighting off this infection right now, you guys. Not going to lie, which kind of sucks. So if you guys want to know what I use to clean my piercings, let me know because I've already tried like three different ones. I'm going to take out $17 from here. I think I'm going to need change. I put the 20 in there, so 10, 15, and 20. So we have enough change. 10, 15, 16, and 17. We still got a little bit left over in here as well. I have $32 and it shows that it's Maddie and a gift, which means I'm going to be taking something out of the gift envelope. Maddie is my goddaughter and it's her seventh birthday. She was born in 2015. Her birthday is July 30th and I went to go get her two pairs of shoes, really cute shoes. Homegirl is very girly. I love how she always likes wearing sandals. So I bought her like these. If you guys are a little bit older, you guys would know what gladiators are. So I bought her gladiators which were really cute and then I also got her pink puma slides um, they're two sizes bigger than her but I wanted to like make sure that she has enough time to like wear them I used to buy her shoes all the time and I felt like she would only wear them for a little bit or sometimes she'll even miss the opportunity to wear them she's transforming into a kid now and so she's wearing size one and then I also got the puma slides in size two let me take out $32 from gift let's also switch this one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-one, and thirty-two. Actually, I'm gonna take out the ugly bills. Leave the cute one in here. Sadly, we only have eight dollars in our gift envelope and I'm gonna try to get to 70 pretty soon just because like I said my brother's birthday is coming up and I'm gonna get him cologne again the health one we're not gonna worry about that right now and the last one is gym which has already been taken out that is all you guys let me just recount everything to make sure so I should have 396 but let's just double check to see 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. So 240 right now. And just subtract that. 240. So I need 156 left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90, and 100. Subtract another 100. 56 dollars. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yay, I'm, <laughs> I can't believe I got that super right. Comparing to back then when I was younger and loved to spend money, this is definitely a more reduced amount. July has been the month that I have been spending the most amount of money in quite some time. And I think that that just has to do with like summer and like wanting to go out more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love getting to know you guys in the comments down below. You guys are so sweet. I know that last week I even uploaded a video that was short on seven minutes and some of you guys literally even told me and I was like oh my god I can't believe it was short on seven minutes like I don't know what it is with my laptop but it would export the video and like chop it off so I have to do it again so I don't know if it has something to do with like glitchiness of the wi-fi or whatever but thank you guys so much for noticing it really reiterated and reconfirmed how important it is that my videos are going out to you guys because you guys are really watching it all the way through and I am so appreciative of you guys you guys have no idea the last three months I think my motivation level has gone super high because you guys are so inspiring for me to like wake up get up in the morning and like grind make my money in turn i'm inspiring and motivating you guys back and it just i live for it y'all i literally live for it anyways thank you guys so much for watching once again i will see you guys next week ta-ta for now